Hey, what is up, guys? It is Friday, June 10th. Just got done with work for the week. That's the best feeling in the world. I know a lot of people always say, man, if you're just looking forward to Fridays or if you're just looking forward to the weekends, then you're doing something wrong. And while I don't dread Mondays, man, do like once you have a like a real job, like a real job you gotta wake up early in the morning for and you gotta go put in hard hours. I mean, look at my hands. Like my hands, I I stapled my finger today on accident. My hands are dirty. Um, they're kind of bloody just because like you're working with wood and you're nailing things in, you're stapling things in all day. And you know, when you've got a job like that, you absolutely 100% look forward to the weekends. Even though I'm still doing my personal training, I'm still going to the gym, um, you look forward to having that time to just take a little bit of, bit of a break. So while I've always had the mentality to not dread Mondays, look forward to your Mondays, it's still good to look forward to your weekends, to look forward to that time when you can spend time and relax with family and friends, which is 100% exactly what I'm going to do. But I uh, just got done with work, heading home now. All right, guys, so getting ready to head to the gym to hit chest. Just made up some more of Treg's secret stuff, which is um, the BPI Sports um, snow cone flavored one more rep Vortex stuff, and then uh, the BPI Sports Pump HD. Now, I got a question on my last video that um, I want to answer right now, um, which is, what does Pump HD actually do? Is it worth it? In my opinion, well, here, I'll just read to you real quick what it is supposed to do. It's designed to help intensify your workouts, natural energy and mental focus, train harder and longer, maximal oxygen uptake, promote muscle fullness, hydration, cell volumization, and pump. So it doesn't have any caffeine, doesn't have any yohim bind, and it doesn't give you the jitters at all. But um, it is a pre-workout and it's supposed to kind of uh, give you that pump, give you that focus. And in my opinion, I don't think um, it necessarily gives you like a fantastic best workout of your life feeling, but it does give you a little bit of energy, um, just like a cleaner energy. That way you are not getting the jitters or anything like that where um, this does kind of give you a little bit more of that beta alanine, a little bit more of that caffeine feel, which I do want, but mixing these two together is kind of the best of both worlds. So does Pump HD work? Kind of. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it doesn't work, but I don't know if it is worth the money. I know if they wouldn't have just sent it to me, I probably would not have bought it. But it's definitely, that stuff's delicious. The watermelon cooler, I think that's what it's called, the watermelon cooler, it is good. Um, if you just want something that kind of gives you a little bit of clean energy and tastes amazing, like 10 out of 10 amazing, then buy that stuff. Seriously, buy that stuff, it's so good. But I'm um, about to head to the gym now, hit chest. I'll see you guys there.
All right, guys, just finished up at the gym, hit chest and triceps today, so push day, and I felt really good, actually. So um, I took an off day yesterday from the gym, which I absolutely needed. I got home from work, and I fell asleep before I was able to, like, take a pre-workout or anything, and I woke up, like, an hour later, and um, when I woke up, it was, like, 3 o'clock, so, um, th between 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock, I try my best to avoid this place because it just gets too full. So I either try to come like an hour and a half before it closes or right around like 1, 1 1.30, 2 o'clock at the latest. And when I woke up, I was like, well, I have to wait for about two and a half, three hours before I can go and get a good workout in because it's just going to be way too full and it's going to be frustrating. So I fell back asleep. Um, when I was kind of contemplating on what I wanted to do and get done and then I was just so exhausted from this week of work these workouts and I didn't wake up until like 6 30 and at that point I would have had to rush around get my pre-workout go to the gym and try to squeeze everything in in like an hour because this gym closes at 8 so I decided my body's trying to tell me something and sometimes you got to listen to it um, I'm not a big proponent of like off days and whatnot because like I'm so in love with the gym and it's my passion and working out is like is my favorite thing in the world to do um, so I'm not a huge fan of off days for myself but sometimes you do have to listen to your body sometimes you can't just be that tough guy that says you know what mind over matter all the time so you just gotta you just gotta do it go to the gym even when you don't feel like it. you know what <laughs> like no sometimes you do have to listen to your body and that was yesterday so I um, took an off day yesterday had all kinds of energy when I got to the gym tonight and it was totally worth it so listen to your body um, sometimes you're going to need off days sometimes you're gonna have to take a nap in the afternoon um, don't feel like you're being lazy by taking off days don't feel like you're being lazy by taking a nap in the afternoon if your body needs it. Listen to your body. Um, it's obviously telling you something. Um, and if it's telling you to take a break, then take a break. But I'm um, about to head home now, get some food. I think I'm going to the movies with my family. Not sure what we're gonna see, um, but I will let you guys know in the next clip. All right guys, so just got here to the movies. Um, while there are movies out like Neighbors 2 and um, pop star and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and all sorts of movies that I would love to see when you go to the movies with your family and the demographic of your family is your mom your dad and your three younger sisters you get stuck going to see me before you or whatever that new movie is with Amelia Clark it's that romantic movie that I'm just elated to be seeing right now but um, going to sit through it and going to let you guys know what I think of it when I'm done so wish me luck all right guys so home uh, from the movie uh, went to go see me before you and uh, wasn't a huge fan of that movie and I mean that's not to say I'm not a fan of like that genre of like romantic movies I mean I'm not just like the typical guy that doesn't like romantic movies just because they're romantic movies. I mean, The Longest Ride with Britt Robertson and Scott Eastwood uh, that came out last year, I was actually a big fan of that. I actually really enjoyed that movie. It had some good character development. It had a really decent, actually pretty good story. And it was intriguing. Um, you learned about the characters. You saw them kind of develop. And you saw that relationship uh, really be real and relatable. But this movie... Um, uh, me Before You, the first half was awful, in my opinion. The first half was hard to get through. Um, the first half of that movie, um, you guys have seen in the trailers, uh, the main guy, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, You, he gets paralyzed, and his character development just isn't there. Other than knowing he's paralyzed, you get no idea of why he's acting the way he's acting um sure like being paralyzed has to be one of the worst things imaginable um and 
I mean, other than them just kind of being lazy and making you assume that, oh yeah, well, he's paralyzed, so of course he's an unhappy person, but I wanted to see some development there of, like, some of the things he's gone through, because, like, he's he's injured, and then they fast forward two years, and I don't like when movies do that, and they just skip over a lot of the stuff that could be used as good character development, so um, I did not like that, but, you know, um, the movie did get a little bit better. Um, Amelia Clark, I'm a big fan of Amelia Clark. I mean, um, she's good in Game of Thrones so far from kind of what I've seen. Um, I thought she was very decent in uh, Terminator Salva or Terminator Genesis. Um, she's she's a good actress in my opinion. She did a very good job of kind of um, carrying this movie because she really had to, in my opinion. She had to kind of make up for that lead actor's lack of any type of I mean it looked like he was mailing this performance in big time but Amelia Clark I thought she really kind of brought it I thought she was good in this movie um, but again the first half of the movie was terrible the second half was watchable the second half made the movie all right so um, am I going to complain about it you know no I'm not gonna complain about it because I kinda got what I accept like kinda got what I expected um, the movie was serviceable as a romantic movie. I mean, you heard girls crying and sniffling and stuff throughout the movie, and it's like, well, I mean, that's why the movie was made. Like, it was for that demographic. So, of course, somebody like me, who probably would have rather seen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, probably rather seen new the new Warcraft movie that came out tonight, um, sure, the movie wasn't made for me, so um, I'm not going to complain, but... That's my thoughts on me before you. If you want to go see it, by all means, go see it. But, guys, I'm going to be honest. Unless you, you're just a sucker for romantic movies, um, this probably isn't worth paying the ticket price to go see. But that's going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go hit that red subscribe button and Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for the support that I've got throughout this series so far. Um, that really does mean a lot. It really means a lot that you guys are watching these videos. Um, especially because um, I'm just sharing my journey with you guys. And if I can in any way make an impact on you guys, seriously, that's what this channel's for. So um, me and my pillow pet are going to go to bed. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.